Pull it, pull it. Did you just get excited because there's a clock on your motorcycle? So I just bought myself a motorcycle and I do not even know how to ride it. I just got my permit, but when I bought this two months ago, I did not even have a permit. I wanted to document this process because I think it would be interesting just watching me try to learn it. And this video is going to be my very first time riding the motorcycle. This channel is not going to be all about motorcycles, but I'm going to have a little playlist of my journey. This is a big part of my life now, so <laughs> I wanted to share that with you guys. I had absolutely no clue what I was doing. I didn't know anything about motorcycles. And then I freaking bought the thing. In the meantime, I just wanted to learn the basics, kind of get comfortable with the bike, and start learning as fast as I can. I'm gonna say some things that are definitely gonna be cringy and things that I should probably already have known before even buying a motorcycle, but this is just how it ended up happening. I spontaneously bought this. I've been wanting a motorcycle for a very long time. I've been wanting to learn, and I knew the exact kind of motorcycle that I wanted to get that would fit me personally and be great for a beginner, and then I ended up finding the exact one, and it worked out this way. I also wanted this to be an encouraging thing for any girls out there that want to learn how to ride a motorcycle. Who knew I would be doing this at this point in my life? But here I am, and I'm petite, so the bike that I got is perfect for me. It's low to the ground, my feet can comfortably touch the ground, it's light, and I'm able to manage it and handle it, which is something that I was very worried about, and it's very user-friendly, so I think it's the perfect bike. I got a Honda Rebel 300 2021. I feel very comfortable riding it and confident, and I think that's really important, so. Here's the video. I hope you don't cringe as much as I do when you watch this, but yeah. We're gonna go over everything before you even start to ride it. Okay, okay put the key in. There you okay. go. And then look at the gauge and you'll see that it's like on. Yes. What gear is it in? It is in first. Oh my gosh. Kick it up. Ah. Nice. So first thing you're gonna do is put it into neutral. So where's the clutch? Yes. So first is all the way down, right. and then one half step up is neutral, and then it's two, three, four, five, and six. So oh. you, you know you're in first. Yeah, did... neutral. Okay, so you're in neutral, so you, now you can let go of the clutch. So how are you going to start it? So now when you start it, it's not going to be going anywhere because it's in neutral. I do this thing. Yep, that's the kill switch, so turn that on and it will prime. Okay. And then... And then you're gonna push the this? start. Yep. Do I have to like do anything? Nope. Oh. I don't need to touch Nothing. this? Nothing. Okay. It's in neutral. Oh! Okay, you just started it. First time. How's that feel? Nerve-wracking. Yeah, but you got this. If I do this, will it do anything? You can do that. That's the- yeah, you should do that. No, you're in neutral. I'm standing right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Give it, give it a little bit more beat. A little bit more. Okay. That's good, that's good. It's just good to get used to the sounds and like, you know, the vibrations and all that stuff. Now, okay. where's your front brake? That? That is your rear brake. Oh, sorry. And that gives you 20% of your stopping power. So like, it's not your primary brake. Yes, that is your front brake. Okay, now, you are going to be using it a little bit today, but not too much, but the only thing you need to think about today is never grab it and pull. You know what I mean? Never pull it. If you do that, you'll lock up the front tire and you'll eat it. Okay, first exercise, staying in first gear. Slowly releasing partial clutch and then coming to a stop and then repeating. Pull it, pull it, yep, yep. Pull in the clutch a little but not all the way. So you're controlling your speed. Now stop. Perfect. Now we're gonna get it nice and straight because we're, I think you can try doing the same exercise, but keeping your feet on the foot pegs. And look, if in doubt, you know, you're going slow enough, you know, 
you can use your feet, but that's like not the best. You don't want to get used to that, you know, so like. That is it, you are riding. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, this is so <laughs> I forgot to record a little outro, but I will be posting day two very soon. I just appreciate you guys coming with me on this journey of me trying to learn how to ride a motorcycle. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all later.